Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel Home School. Today we are going to learn about the international date line and this video will help you to know how does the date change exactly by one day as we close the international date line. But before that I would suggest you to watch our previous videos as they are linked with this one. So the links are given below in the description for your convenience. Now let's get started. We have already learned that the prime meridian is at 0 degree longitude which passes through Greenwich, England. Let me tell you that Greenwich is a village in England and the prime meridian passes through this village. We also know that there are 24 standard meridians. 12 standard meridians are in the west side of the prime meridian and 12 standard meridians are in the east side of the prime meridian. Starting from 0 degree, the east meridians end at 180 degree, that is known as 180 degree east. Similarly, starting from 0 degree, the west meridians end at the same 180 degree, but as we move towards the west, we call it 180 degree west. Another thing is that we know the earth moves from west to east. Just imagine, if you move back to the west crossing the prime meridian, you are going back in time. And if you move forward to the east crossing the prime meridian, you are advanced in time. So ultimately what happens is that when one moves towards the east, the person will gain time till the, till the meridian 180 degree east. So this means that the person when on 180 degree east meridian will be 12 hours forward than the Greenwich mean time. Similarly, when one travels towards the west, the person will lose time till the meridian 180 degree. So this means that the person when on 180 degree west meridian will be 12 hours behind the Greenwich mean time. Let me show you an example here. We know that the earth takes 1 hour to move 15 degree and 12 hours to move 180 degree. We also know that if we go towards the east, we are going forward than the Greenwich mean time. And when we are going to the west, we are going behind the Greenwich mean time. Now suppose the time at 0 degree is 9 pm and the day is Monday 1st June. Now if we go behind the Greenwich mean time at 180 degree west, the time will be 9 am and the day will be Monday 1st June. Now here what did we get that we have moved back by 12 hours. Now let's move towards the east. The time at 180 degree east is 9 am and the day is Tuesday 2nd June. That means from 0 degree to 180 degree east the time has uh, beca become advanced by 12 hours. So this 180 degree meridian experiences a total difference of 24 hours on its two sides. This line that follows the 180 degree and is opposite to the prime meridian is called the international date line where the date changes exactly by one day. Thus, if we travel east to west across the international date line, we will lose a day, while if we travel west to east, then we will gain a day. Now, let's know the difference between prime meridian and international date line so that we don't get confused. Both prime meridian and international date line runs from north to south, but they are opposite to each other. Prime meridian is at 0 degree longitude, while the international date line follows the 180 degree longitude. Prime meridian is a straight line that passes through Greenwich, London or England. On the other hand, international date line is a zigzag line that passes through the middle of the Pacific Ocean. So this was all about the international date line. 
Thank you for watching the video. I hope it was understandable for you. If yes, then please let me know by hitting the like button and putting your valuable comments in the comment section. And please don't forget to subscribe the channel to get all the new updates.